football second with Nationwide. Football matters. Welcome back to Football Second. Now, it's not often that you visit a club where the chairman, the leading striker and the manager are all heroes. But here at Brighton, in Dick Knight, Bobby Zamora and Peter Taylor, they've got three of the highest order. Peter Taylor has been through it all in his fledgling managerial career. Promotion with Gillingham, guiding Leicester briefly to the top of the Premier League and managing England in the Olympic Stadium in Rome, and then into freefall at Filbert Street, and with his reputation severely dented, straight into the arms of Brighton, still mourning the departure of Mickey Adams. Well, I keep doing this. I keep at Gillingham. I took over from Tony Pulis, who was a uh, who they absolutely idolised. There, of course, the Martin O'Neill situation. Um, and this one again, you know, and you say to yourself, you know, why can't I take over from somebody that's a, a lot easier to take over from? Um, so, of course, you've got your doubts, you've got your worries, and I did know that my next move, uh, I couldn't have the same kind of results that I had at Leicester the second uh, second season I was there, because then all of a sudden I am on that uh, on that on that slide. But Brighton's promotion has fully justified his self-belief. I had no hesitation and no doubts of of walking into a change room and talking to 20 players uh, because I was up for the job and um, and to me it didn't take them long you know and uh, there was a few slight adjustments that uh, that were made uh, but things have gone really well. Indeed they have. Promotion was clinched last Sunday when Reading could only draw at Prenton Park. That put Brighton up without having to kick a ball. I was at home uh, and got the call from the physio who had actually listened, been listening to it on the local radio in Brighton, which I, I actually couldn't. I couldn't listen to it. Me, I, I, that had driven me mad. Um, so uh, eventually, of course, we realised we were up and uh, phoned all the players up and thanked them and uh, I was really delighted for them. Have they celebrated at all? Have they, been out? have they been partying or have they kept a lid on that so far? No, no, looking at them on Monday morning, they definitely went out Sunday <laughs> night, without a doubt, because uh, some of the touch all of a sudden wasn't there. And, uh, I didn't give him any heading exercises that, uh, that morning. So Division One has become a reality, a considerable achievement, but possibly also a poison chalice. With a capacity of only 7,000, they'll struggle to pay First Division money, and they'll struggle to keep hold of the talismanic Bobby Zamora. We're going to do everything we can to keep him, uh, and I think Bobby is a very sensible lad that, that probably does realise that another 12 months in Division One will be very good for his education, because there's no doubt about it, he wants to be an international player, he wants to be in the Premier Division, uh, but he probably realises as well that he's not 100% ready yet, so another year uh, with us in Division One I think will be good news. The other question mark surrounds the manager himself. He's yet to sign a new contract, even though he insists that his prevarication is only because he's unhappy with the facilities at his disposal, and not because Crystal Palace, or anyone else for that matter, has tapped him on the shoulder. There's been no offers, I've never spoken to anybody, I've assured uh, Dick Knight of that. Uh, I told him this of the first week I was in, in, in the job, because I couldn't believe um, that things weren't uh, getting prepared for us for training, etc. Um, so what we basically need is uh, probably half a dozen groundsmen around Sussex University that are season ticket holders and football fanatics of Brighton because then they would work day and night to get things the way we want it. And uh, So no, it's not me uh, putting a gun to anybody's head there, it's something that I, probably coming from Leicester and probably coming working with England, that I now expect. Uh, and you know, I'm a tracksuit man and I want the nice facilities and I want things done correctly. So those are the thoughts of the Brighton manager, Peter Taylor. Right, well, here's the chairman, Dick Knight. You're responsible for so much of this. And first of all, congratulations on another amazing season. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been, uh, it just shows that in, uh, even in modern football, miracles can happen. You know, remember five years ago, we were bottom of the pile. Uh, on the last day of the season, we needed to, you know, to get a point to save ourselves, and we did. And uh, here we are now going for the second division championship. Well, miracles can happen. Well, well done on that, but I'm going to cut to the quick and push you on this. Um, are you going to have Peter Taylor at the helm next year? Are you going to improve these training facilities or whatever it is he's after? Look, today is a day of celebration. This club has moved tremendously in five years and we will continue to make progress and we will continue to address the issues that we have to, to that befits a first division club. So today is about celebration. We're all going to have a good time and uh, we'll address the issues in the near future. Well, Dick, I mean, last time I was here, it was actually you had a big party for the centenary celebrations. Well, you just seem to do nothing but partying down here. Do you ever do any work? Well, we, uh, we, it's the hard work that enables us to party. Yeah. So, you know, we know how to have a good time in Brighton, and we're going to have a good time uh, today, whatever the score, because we've got two successive promotions. That's a mighty, mighty achievement, and all credit to 
Peter, you know, his staff, Mickey Adams before him, and of course the players. You know, remember that we have got this back-to-back uh, -back promotion achievement uh, virtually on the strength of the same squad that won us the third division title last year. You know, we just had two players come in, mo both made massive contributions, Simon Morgan and Junior Lewis more recently. But, uh, you know, it's the same squad and all credit to them and the, and the two managers. We've been blessed with great managers, fantastic squad of players. Uh, and not that it doesn't only include Bobby. Bobby Zamora is, of course, exceptional, but the other squad of players, the whole team, have just performed brilliantly. And they all deserve every bit of success that they've got right now. Well, Dick, I'm going to let you get on with it. Thanks very much. Enjoy your day, because whatever lot. happens, I'm sure you will. Thanks a lot. <laughs> right, well, not every team in Division 2 can win the championship. Berry certainly can't. They're facing a big battle against relegation, and they were at home against Colchester.